How's it going? This is a U-Haul 6x12 enclosed dual axle trailer and the upper brake light is not working. Uh, the problem with these is it is a sealed enclosure as far as the light assembly. So you can't just open that assembly and replace just the bulb because it is waterproof. So you have to replace the whole shebang. Not a big deal though. You literally just pry it out with your hands. You may have to use a screwdriver and get up under it up in here, but just get a good firm hold on it and just pull it out. Literally just pull it out like this. Unplug it right there with your hands. There you go, it's a little three prong deal. Let's just see how it goes here. But yeah, there's no way to open this case to get to that bulb is obviously burned out in there. So I'll put a link down below where you can get the replacement. You can either just buy just this assembly here or you can get the whole thing that has a new seal grommet around it, even a new wire and everything some of them have, but I'll put a few links down below in the description where you can get them. No big deal. Just plug it in and put it back in and off you go. So we'll do that real quick. Now, if your trailer is older and your little seal is getting kind of dry rotted and crappy, you might as well go ahead and replace it, especially if it comes with the kit. Same deal, you just grab up top here and literally just pull it by hand. No screws, no tools, nothing required. Looks a little ratty, so you might as well replace it. And you can clean this off around this edge right there, wipe it off with a little towel or something make sure it's not all nasty looking and then you'll notice on the connector there's a little dielectric grease which is you know helps keep it resistant from uh, water and corrosion and that sort of thing so you may want to put some of that on it's called dielectric grease don't put regular grease it's only got to be dielectric put that on there and just reconnect the uh, cable to the new assembly like so just pops in place and then you may want to use a little bit of water or something, you know, just to help lubricate this so that it'll pop in the hole easily. You know, just maybe, you know, just a little bit of water lubricant or saliva or whatever you want to do just to help it pop in there in case it's a little bit sticky. And just, you know, set it in from the bottom like so. Just make sure it seats in there fully. And just wiggle it a little bit, you know, just give it a little little help to get up in there. Make sure everything seats properly. Like so. And then go test it out. And there is the tail light portion of it. And it now flashes normally. Perfect. Anyway, that's it. Check out our other videos. We got hundreds of other videos on fixing stuff and motorcycles, cars, dirt bikes, ATVs, working around the house, all kinds of stuff. So check out our channel. And we also have an eBay store and Amazon store relating to motorcycle parts and tools, specialty tools, you know, for power sport vehicles. So check that out. And we're on Facebook as well. Just Google Horsepower House. You'll have a great day. We'll see you.